Oh, Jesus. Hello, I'm Sammy. Welcome back to my channel. And um, the new chapter is out. Chapter 11. It's about androids and I'm like, nah. Nah, that's silly. Yeah, oh, what the fuck? A mere trifle, it's better far more resistance from a dragon. Yeah, Devia, you're like a evil demon creature. Damn. Chill out. Oh, hi, Kaya. What happened to the beautiful lake that used to be here? Dried up, baby. Okay. When dragons slay in the land festers, waters cloud and winds blow ill. Yeah, I guess so. Whoa, I'm new! Look at me! This continues, he'll continue to turn the entire kingdom into a barren wasteland. I have to stop him! Yeah, no shit. You've been doing that for like the past 10 chapters. Ah, here we go. It's Hall! Nope, it's Shell. What's up? You have not often been about the castle of late. I must confess to missing the audiences you used to deign to grant me. Hmm. Damn, what's the gift? Some three centuries ago, the Dino Empire crafted a weapon for the express purpose of slaying dragons. Of course I am aware of this. Why bring it to my attention now? Wow, Tell found him. Revived the androids. Oh, so she did it. And it's not Emil. Oh, God! <laughs> Jesus. I hate dolls, man. Why do you gotta put this shit in there? These androids truly are Marvel. Even a dragon is no match for them. They need no training, feel no pity, and know no remorse. Plus, they are just ever so adorable. First of all, so long as you have the control element in hand, they will happily obey your every command. Wow, he wants them, huh? Patience, I will lend them to you once I'm finished with my initial trial run. Wow. Aww. Jesus. Well then. Well, just use the androids to revolt, duh. Right. Look at all this Emil plot. Look how half of Tutu is like, yay, Emil plot! And then the other half is like, kill him! Jesus. Cat Sif? What? Kate Sif? Is this turning into... Holy crap, that's her dragon. Is this Final Fantasy all of a sudden? It's kind of hideous looking, actually. Oh. He's like... Making him do it. So she doesn't get her hands dirty. Alright. Mozart has he restored to his full power, but he started to claim the world as his own. As other, the other travels the world, slaying the very dragons that form its foundation, a conspicuously powerful army has begun its own incursion on the land. Army being led by my own brother and you. But even though he is my blood, I cannot permit his unjust actions to continue. So I'm gonna go kick his ass. Freaking hell. I was. Jesus, I thought it was those androids screaming. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. Hey, what's going on? Uh, my hold is actually quite big, thank you very much. Androids crush these filthy insects once and for all. Okay. Do these weirdos what your brother has fine for him. They don't even flinch, creeping me the hell out. Nothing. Bounce off of him. Androids? Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> My god. Oh, do we get to like waste some androids? Sweet dude. Why androids though? It's so weird. Like you could have called them dolls or something. Battle dolls. That would have made more sense. And they were like being controlled by Black Mana or some shit. Nope, they're straight up, <laughs> straight up sci-fi as androids. Stupidest shit I've ever seen. Kill those androids. Also, there's a free summon, free tenfold. Oh, are we gonna meet that android who defected to our side? Take my sword. Oh my god. That was a straight up Japanese Wilhelm scream. Is everyone alright? Good here, boss. Nice. Yeah. Watch him bounce by. Yeah, if they show up again, things could be pretty hairy pretty quick. I heard they are called androids. They ran with annoyed. Which is totally what they're making me. Androids are weapons created by Dino Empire some 300 years ago in order to slay dragons. Take it they're not actually human despite all outside appearances. Correct. I'm not especially knowledgeable on the subject, but apparently they were a type of magical weapon. Androids do not grow tired or feel pain. They are soulless soldiers whose only purpose is to carry out the orders of the one who commands them. In this case, they're meal, right? Alright. They're not an enemy soft enough for us to afford sympathy. Yeah. Just creatures, man. Oh god, it's a mule. I know I'd find you idiots standing around debating morality instead of doing the smart thing and running away. Yeah, I fucked him. I mean, it's a mule and his androids. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Today, my dear brother, is the day you finally meet your doom. Uh, you do realize I have like six dragons on my side? Damn, dude. Alright. Okay. Can't read their movements at all. Utterly removed of emotion or any discernible rhythm, we cannot approach them like typical human opponents. Because we'll just have to wing it. Yep. Can't hold these guys off forever. We've got to speed up the evacuation. Bring Leaf in, damn it! Trying to clear out a village with all fox and kids, Luca. It's not exactly the quickest process in the world. Damn. Calm your titties. The superior being, me, has taken charge of the lesser, but alas, it's time for this pathetic display to come to an end. Special androids? Oh, wow, what? They look different. One's a girl. According to Shell, these two are even stronger than the rest of their kind. There's apparently quite a handful, which is why they have been kept dormant. But no willful android can stand against the might and majesty of a meal. Waken my killing machine. Oh, do we get the boy? Muscular? What does that mean? Oh, that's his name. Muscular. He's not very masculine, I gotta tell you. Looks like a little girl. Anyway. Very well. I order you to kill every single one of those miserable scurrying witches over there. Kill every single one in extermination order. No. Second elapsed. And even now the fighting continues. You there, do less whatever it is you're doing. Start killing already. Negative. Do not fight. Not let anyone else fight either. Oh, he doesn't listen to orders. Oh wow, he killed him. His address just keep coming. Hi, sword boy. Damn, they really don't listen to reason. Oh, is he like the special one that has a 
soul or some shit. Wow, what the hell? Disable the part of it that receives orders from the one who wields the control element. It will be immobile for some time. So you saved us? But you're an android. Androids do not wish to fight. I'm sure no one really does. Don't you agree? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, fighting is really just a last resort. Exactly, so please hand over your weapons. Nah, mate. You fight because you have weapons, therefore we must get rid of weapons. Please give them to me. Look, friend, we can't just hand over all our weapons in the middle of a... What the hell is this guy's deal? Surprised Luca didn't just shoot him in the head. Hey, Luca. Hey, man, oh, man, did you see what I... Oh, uh, wait, where'd you ask her? Funny story, some weird android came racing by and yanked out my hand. Got no idea what that's about. Saying a bunch of stuff about not wanting to fight or have us fight. I think they did the same thing that all the Imperials do. So he's a pacifist, then? They're pacifistic androids? I think it's just that one. The girl is probably, like, on the bad guy's side. Right? What did that bucket of bolts do? Stupid android took man in their own pathetic hands which allowed my brother and his bothersome band of bloviators to escape me. Someone bring me my pathetic brother so I can kill him with my own hands. Can you? But you don't even- Oh, he does have a sword. Does he even know how to use it? I feel sorry for Emil. A little bit. He's still an asshole, but... Just seems like he gets trampled along by it. Trampled on by everybody around him. I'll stop halfway just to get some summoning in. Come on everyone, this way! Yeah, they look tired. We're all now, the ages is a few. Leave us, save the children instead. Guys, the Imperial army is miles behind us. We've got time to save everybody, so there's no need to start sacrificing your lives at this point. Really? Trust me, if there was a bad guy within 10 miles of this place, these sylvan ears of mine would know about it. Without Doopy's crazy plan at first, but I gotta admit, it's working. A few hours earlier? Shut the front door, you want us all to split up and run away, like separately? I think that's our best option. It seems Emil can issue commands directly to the androids, and, but he's the only one who can do so. So they even move as one big unit or have to stay put? Interesting. And that's why we're going to split into two groups. One of them serves as bait for the android forces, it will allow the second group to escape. Makes sense. That's what a smart person would do, I guess. Or we'll just separate. Like each of them, just separate and take a band of villagers of them. Right, let's keep moving. I feel guilty that we're making a Sylvan like yourself protect us. I've heard that Sylvan people have a deep loathing for humans. Not if you ask me. Hey, I've got boatloads of human friends. Plus some other races besides. I mean, who cares about doing things just because we happen to be human or Sylvan or whatever? It's boring. Me? Huh? What was that? Help me. Hey, you're that android from before. Uh, and help you with what exactly? There are many humans over there who are injured and unable to move. I want to treat them, but I'm an android. I do not. No, I don't know enough about your organic bodies, please. Hey, look, I'd love to help you out, but I'm already trying to evacuate all these folks, so you won't help them? Please don't worry about us. If there are others who need your assistance, by all means, go to them now. I do not wish to sound unappreciative of your efforts, but you have the chance to help others, you should do so. Alright! Alright, you soulless bastard, tell me where they are. Thank you very much. Also, you may call me Mascula. I'm Luca, you freaking weirdo. I'm still feeling you out, so we'll show you the handshake for later. Wait, hang on. That's good. These are Imperial soldiers. Are they the end of people you're trying to help? Yes, that's right. Is there a problem? Well, hell. I thought you were on our side, but I guess I was wrong. Your side? You're clearly still working with the Empire if you wanted to heal their wounded. That's not it. I'm not with the Empire. But why do you want me to help them? Is it strange to help one who is injured? Oh. He doesn't understand the conflict. What's happening? Why is this bad? Do your size mean so much that you would leave them to die? Yes! For crying out loud. Shut up, boy. Don't want to hurt anyone. I seek only to help with that exception. Oh, was he programmed to do so? Is that such a bad thing? Of course not. Oh, damn it, fine. Look, I'll give him some of my silver medicine, alright? Eh? That'll keep him from bleeding out or getting any kind of nasty, rotten diseases. Sorry I had to go wasting the good stuff on a guy like me. Yeah, well, you can thank this android for tipping my hand, I guess. Same old Luca. You're from the village near Mirage Lake, yeah? How do you know that? 
My hometown's close to that village, so I know some of the folks there. Didn't stop you from joining the Imperial Army, though, did it? Didn't have much of a choice in the matter. You conscripted and refuse, refuse to serve, the Empire punishes your family. Ugh. Yeah, well, I guess even Imperial soldiers have their reasons. You're welcome! I wanna kill the dude! On the spot! I mean, yeah. Remember all that stuff you told me about life having value no matter whose side it may happen to be on? Yes. Just go in some village about how race didn't matter, yet I turned around and did the same damn thing. Nice! Sometimes you gotta fight for what's important, even if it means hurting someone else. Ah, that was in the trailer. I still believe there's a way to end conflicts without fighting. Yeah, it's called doing it Gandhi style. We just kiss each other, I guess. That's why I'm gonna keep fighting for what matters. I don't know if that's what Gandhi did. And if you get in the way of that, well, I'll do what I gotta do. It's a nice story to cut in, but I think you better get out of here, Rizzo. We were left behind here since we were injured and couldn't keep up with our forces. The main Imperial army won't be all that far. You should hurry and get out of here. I know it's weird for me telling you this, but, well, there it is. Yikes, thanks for a heads up, pal. Come on, everyone, we're leaving. I am to blame the Imperial army attack, so I must protect you. Huh. That's nice. Sounds good to me. Yeah, Luca. He's being a child bad. Yes, you poop everywhere and you don't clean up after yourself. And you eat spaghetti and get all over your faces. Pretty alright is an expression of favor. Yes, I like you too, there, Luca. <laughs> Alright, now we've got little boy on board. Did you find him? Yes sir, they appear to be massing in the ruined village out of the way. Scouting about in an attempt to escape, but we cornered them at last. Check out this thing a trump card, so if I use it... Oh, it's the female one. Damn. Well, looks like we gotta kill her. Lop that head right off. Prince Emil's obsession. Yikes! Does does Emil fall in love with the girl, Android? That'd be pretty funny. Right, that's halfway through. I'm gonna do some summoning. Cause there's a one free tenfold. I actually don't want any of the characters. I already got Xander, so I'm happy. Ah, four star. Skip! Ah, oh, goddamn! I got freaking what's her face. The course ain't Phoenix. Man. So Emil's just annoying as ever. <laughs> he hasn't changed, does he? Okay. Hey, it's me again. Counter attack. Push the enemy back. Retreat. Oh. Well, my soldier's all red and cool. Forgive us, sire, we failed to take into account the numerous abandoned buildings and ruins. New Albion army is forcing us into house to house fighting, which negates the advantage of our superior number. Send in the androids already, surely they won't be so easily count. The thing is, the lead android seems to have taken up with the enemy, shut down the rest of them somehow. Alright, the last android. Today is no day for the feckless talk of cowards! Damn, he is desperate. Hello. Cross the train his new friend. Checking condition. Check condition check failed. Engaging emergency protocols. Activating annihilation mode. Yo, she's the crazy one, right? Oh, she's broken. This is not good. Oh, she just attacks anything she sees. In suppression of this location. Initiating termination of all enemies. Damn. Sorry, the Imperial forces approaching the Western Ruins appear to have withdrawn. We should be okay for a while. Good, we keep this up and buy ourselves some time to move the village to safety. The things might actually work out. Yeah, there's no time to rest easy. 
Exactly. Nether told us he stopped me. Can we really trust that guy? I don't think he's a bad android. Alright. Huh. Made him leave? It's creepy as hell to see them all standing around like that. Yeah, that's creepy. I'd have nightmares about stuff like that. We can attempt by removing their arms and legs, for example. What I'd like to do is so drastic. Right now, we need to keep him as an ally. Not to do anything that seems like a betrayal of his trust. That's a feel kind of weird de de deboning helpless androids like that. I'd take their heads right off, man. I don't give them. Strange Andrew has been sighted on Eastern Front. Strange in that it does not seem to be distinguishing friend from foe and is instead attacking everyone on sight. Let's get in distinguish between friend or foe either. Yes, but it's ultimately going to seem to be one of peace. This new Andrew is cutting down anyone who gets in its way without mercy or quarter. Yikes. Wait, what? Director convert commencing operation terminating hostiles. Whoa! How did how did they do it? Oh, it's probably units of Eastern Front also recently began moving again. Something to do with that new android. All right. Okay, Ranzo, you need to stay in hands of stuff. Ranzo, you gotta handle stuff. <laughs> anyway, Eastern Front, the crazy chick. Damn. She should just we should just like put her in a basket and then just ship her off to like the the Dino Empire and just have her kill everybody. That's Laxi. She's the android commander. She the reason all the others have started moving again? Yes, I can't stop her orders. Then I'll just have to stop her. Hey, please, I'll stop her. Can you, little boy? Give her a big old kiss? Damn. Yeah. What the hell? What is her problem? Maestro would be so sad seeing us do this. Who? Why did he give us hearts if, he, if not to use them here? Oh, what the hell? Wait, who? Who is this Maestro? This guy may have driven her off, but the other androids are still coming. Fight, yo! Help you how? Laxi is the commander. If I can't stop her, I can stop all the androids. We can end this battle. We can? Alright, let's do it. Alright, don't do anything stupid or I'll have your head. Bitch? Uh, I'll do the extras some other time. That's not important. The story is important. I want to know who this Maestro is. Also, what do they mean they have hearts? Is it like a human heart? Because that'd be gross. Get them! These glowy ass freaks are even easier to see at night! I need to know who this guy is! Let's see, is 1920 steps from this point. Wow. I guess so. Unique designs. You guys are all weapons made for fighting, yeah? I don't mind, it's the truth after all. We are indeed weapons. But you only seem to want peace. Is that why you say you're unique? Might I take a moment to tell you about our past? Uh, shouldn't we be chasing after your sister or whatever the hell? We androids were created by Dino Empire 300 years ago. Greta, Mishra, did not actually wish to do so. You don't want to? Mishra was of Dino, but he obeyed the Empire, not out of choice. He often said that in truth he had no desire to make weapons of war. So this Mishra guy is like your dad or something. Didn't, your own dad didn't want to make you. Oh boy, I know how that feels. <laughs> anyway, talk about a total downer. 
Oh, it's happy to me, He never treated us as weapons. He hated sending us into battle. So much that he defied the Empire's orders to do so time and again. That would explain why I almost never saw an android, despite hearing almost non-stop rumors about them. Some who fought the Empire back then even considered them a fiction dreamed up to instill fear in our hearts. It's all thanks to Maestro. It's an organic being with a finite amount of time to live. He dead. Okay, he was taken by illness before the conflict could end between Dino and Alberius. Left behind Svei was safe to ensure everyone could not force us to fight after his death. The control fee, right? He designed Brandros to prioritize Laxi's orders above all others. Why not yours? What? Given the will of the control. Secondly, he ensured that if Laxi were to ever cease functioning, all androids would immediately do so as well. Created one final act. Android with the power to annihilate Laxi, which is you! This whole time, who is this magic? It is him. Wait a second, aren't you a big hippie who totally hates fighting? Goddamn turbo hippie! Yes, why would the power to stop Laxi be given to one who's clearly, who is clearly so loath to use it when necessary? I suspect that to be the very exact reason. And like all other androids, Laxi and I have both been gifted with a heart. Do you mean that literally? Is it a large muscle that pumps blood? Oh, thank god! Thank god. Give us the capacity to judge right from wrong. This is what I call our heart. Laxi's heart is damaged. That's why she's attacking everyone indiscriminately. Okay, if I destroy Laxi, all androids will cease to function. It's a decision with heavy consequences, say the least. So certain Mr. gave me a heart so I would not wield this ability without giving it all due consideration. Nice! Your dad! You're dead! Aww. That's nice. I mean, he made you, so yeah. Nice. Three hundred years later, I was working with all of you. Does this mean is it is he gonna explode or something? That would be funny. I mean, sad to watch. Oh, yeah, her back is broken. What the hell was that all about? Relaxy, please subdue her just for a little while. Take care of the rest. I'll stop her. You sure? Who said you don't want to hurt anyone? But we know what it means for you to stop Laxi. She's basically your sister. Can you really do this? You don't even have to be the one to do it. Alright. Kill her! It's the only way. Ugh, God, she's creepy. Shut up. <laughs> Destroy. Get her. Oh my gosh, she's so strong. Oh my god, she killed Vexel. The, you bitch. <laughs> and Sufang down as well. Nice. Freaking weirdo. Oh, well, that's over. If we don't do that shit again. Damn it. How strong was she? Oh, God, there's more. Alright, done. Now's my time to act. What? Oh! What? It's like a beating heart. Oh, okay. Well, hers is broken, right? Jesus, this is so weird. You could just kill her. Oh, 
Wait, so we don't actually get to use them? You're gonna die. Androids were created to fight. Okay. <laughs> Luke is like, take my heart! And then he just cuts himself open. <laughs> Fucking hell. Damn. Alright. Condition check. Whoa, she's done. I don't want her. Damn it. I don't want a female character. Nice. Change the status of all androids from active operation to standby mode. I am responsible for needless combat, therefore I must rectify the situation. Kill yourself! Oh. He is the end. He is the one who makes all conflict. I am the object. I initiate conflict. I make my fellow androids fight us. Sensual quality differ, that is all. In that case, shouldn't we just we should have just destroyed her instead. <laughs> We we'll seek that which Maestro is called. Peace, yo. Why don't you come with us? Ah, oh, crap. We do get her, don't we? No. Oh, no. Androids need no protection. Okay. Wow. Wait, what? There's a glitch in my linguistic properties. Those were not my words. Let's go with them, Maxi. Oh, it's... It's him. Oh. What's his name in there? Damn. Damn. What the hell is happening? I'm so, <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> What the hell? Oh, Jesus! No, that purr that androids have fallen into the hands of the seventh heir. What a lovely dance that was in you. Androids are now a bolstered the military of New Iberia. The dangerous game you play. Well, she's on our side all along, right? Oh, never mind. あの双子に仲良く起きが来たら。ああ。わあ。私は被害者ですのよ。にゃるほどね。大きな障害を乗り越え。うん。で、またね、次は両人様の番ですかにゃ。いや、ないですウィーネクスト。<laughs> oh crap. I'm about to fight Leonidas again next. Doana. Just throw him in the feet. No! Damn it! I don't wanna! God damn it! Destruction and domination. Prince and his allies are advanced under the capital, but the combined armies of Leonidas and Cheryl barred away. Missed the intrigue and violence, the prince witnessed first time the strength of his siblings' convictions. He will have to prove his own a stronger to secure victory. 
We'll listen more in the next campaign update. <gasps> Thank God it's over. Well, that's all the time I have for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.